look at this. Look at this. We got a, oh my gosh, I'm shaking. We got a ring. Oh, and it's got diamonds too. All right, how's it going folks? Jason here. And we are at what I usually call Bean Clam Beach. I just was walking over from the car and we found a hat. Now, I'm not gonna take this hat, I'm gonna leave it here, but we did find it and it's covered in ants. But I thought that was kind of an interesting way to start off the evening. But uh, let's get out there to the beach and see what we can find. I'm gonna pick these uh, water bottles up here, but I saw this sock and I was tempted. <laughs> I thought maybe there'd be something inside of it. I'll never forget that time. I think it was uh, Jim from Fun With Jim. And he was down at one of, one of the beaches I tend to go to pretty often and he found, a, he found a pretty nice silver chain inside of a sock. And so anytime I see socks on the beach, I, I always double check them. Anyways, we'll pick this stuff up and keep moving. I'd laugh if there was like cash inside of that sock and I just went over it with my detector and didn't hear any cash. There's all kinds of stuff out here. People's shirts and everything. I'm just uh, taking them over by the garbage can. Oh, here's another sock. Sounds like might be a coin spill here. Or a large target. Let's see if we can move it. Yeah, I think that it's a coin spill. Okay, had one here. I think there's another one still down in here. Yeah, I think that's a coin spill. All right, we're off to a good start here with the coins. We got a dime and a quarter, and it's another one of those newer quarters where Georgie's looking that way. So I think there might be a few more coins here. Let's double check. Seventy nine, that's probably another dime. Ooh, no, it's not. It's wow. All right, I'm not gonna argue with that. Okay, we've got a we got a rubber band. We'll put that in the bag. Throw it away later. And two more quarters. Very nice. All right. We're getting rich. Look at that. Right here, I got another high tone right out of here. Sounded kind of iffy. Still sounds kind of iffy, but it's jumping up into the high 70s. Ooh, it's a little, what is that? It's a little heart kind of thing. It says love on it. It's a little love heart right there. That ring up pretty high for being that small. Can't really tell what the other things say on it, but it says love right there. It's a little charm. Very cool, I will put that. Oh, you know what? We forgot our little doodad. My little small finds doodad. I'll put it in my pouch and hopefully we won't lose it. We are off to a good start. We're finding uh, coins and Got our first piece of jewelry. Haven't even gotten down to the wet sand yet. Okay, from right here, and there's just so much iron here. I, I was swinging along and got a kind of different sound and I just scooped it out and dumped it, kind of like I do, swept over it and I heard a, it's in the 50s. Uh, looks like it is stuck to the magnet. Look at that. We got our first ring of the night. Right on. That's so cool. So we found a we found a heart charm and now we've got a heart ring right there. Very, very cool. I'm super excited. I feel like this is going to be a good night. Really quick. I just want you guys to hear what this sounds like right here. I'm going to put the headphones up to the microphone that, right here. That's just the uh, shadow of it. But here we go. 
so many targets. So much iron too. Turn the sensitivity down just a little bit more and I've got my recovery speed pretty high and just swinging along, listening for something that sounds a little different and then I kind of go back over it and see if I can isolate it. That's how we found that silver ring at uh, Wire Beach that time too. All right, well, we just found this on the ground and I see myself a new small finds thingy, my Bob right there. That'll work. Let's throw that in the pouch. Got a really high signal right here. What is that? It's like it's, oh wow. Amy Rietzerg, some kind of uh, clasp or something for a bag or something right there. Maybe this used to go on a zipper or something like that. It's like a pull, pull clasp. There it is. We got like a 30 something here. What is that? Is that it? Oh, dude, look at this, guys. What is this? What is that? Oh, is this a, this is a giant chain. It's weird, it's like a snakeskin kind of chain. It's like really thick and covered in sand. I don't know if you can see it. All right. Ring up a little low to be silver, I think. There are some markings on it, but I'm gonna guess that that's gonna be stainless steel. Okay, well, we'll have to take a closer look. Yeah, clasp even still works, I don't know. Look at that. Right on, okay. I mean, this thing's like a rope. Uh, we'll get it home and check it out in the wrap up, but that is pretty sweet right there. I could go for one of these made of gold, but I'll take stainless steel right now. We're just gonna work our way up, right? Okay, let's get this filled in and keep going. Tonight is going tonight has been great already. Alright, I had a signal here that sounded mostly like iron, and I took a scoop. It's over here now. Still has an iron grunt, but I just wanted to show you these worms. Look at this. I just cut like a hundred worms in half. They're all like bright red. See if I can, uh, I'll take a video with my can't or with my phone and show you up close. Anyways, that's, that's pretty crazy uh, that there's just so many worms in the sand right there. Anyways, while I'm down here, I think that this is our target, whatever it is. Uh, not sure what that is. Maybe some kind of fishing, fishing weight thing. It's got like a little clasp on it right there. This is probably iron and this is something else. It doesn't feel like lead. But uh, yeah, I'll fill this in and let's keep going. 55, 56. I see something right there. It's kind of embedded in the surface. No, that wasn't it. Boy, there are just thousands of these worms. Red worms. Poor things. <laughs> well, that's crazy. I have to rename this beach. Ooh, we got another target over here too. Right in here. I think I see something. Oh, what is that? That is definitely lead, but it doesn't look like a fishing weight is the weird thing. It's got like a piece sheared off. Big old heavy chunk of lead like that. Wait a second. What is that? That's another one. That's another piece of that same lead. How oh, weird. All right, so for this next part, we're actually gonna fast forward and do a voiceover. Uh, we ended up pulling about seven or eight of these targets and they're all the same. 
Uh, they're like lead cylinders, and I'm not sure what they would be used for. If you happen to know, uh, leave a comment down below. But I just thought I'd do a voiceover and let you know we're going to skip past the majority of this digging just so it's not um, so monotonous. Anyways, stick around. There, and there, and there. So we got four more. I think that's all of them. So I think there's like at least seven of these now. Uh, how strange. But yeah, okay, there it is. Lots of lead, LOL. Is that you, Ron? Is that Ron? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, long time no see. Oh, shit. How you been? All right, just ran into a good old friend of mine. His name's Ron, and he also has a YouTube channel. Met him when I first started, so it's always good to see him out on the beach. All right, we got a 28, 29, 32, probably a pull tab. Is that it? What is that? Just looks like some scrap metal, but it's kind of bent together. But there it is. Anyways, uh, if you get a chance, check out uh, Ron's channel. It's Finding AU Ron, I think is the handle. But I'm sure you'll find it if you just uh, look up AU Ron or anything like that. He's the one that taught me the phrase gold luck. So, okay, I made my way back up to the dry sand for a little bit. Got an 88. 90, that's going to be a quarter. I think it's in the scoop. Yeah, I just wasn't finding anything down there in the wet sand yet. I'm going to make my way a little bit further south. But uh, there's a couple other guys out, including my buddy Ron. So, yeah, there's our quarter. It's another newer one there. Got a target right down here. 41, 43, 42, right about there. It's in the scoop. All right. What is that? Wow. That's like a fancy metal clip or something. Boy, the bugs are flying in my eyes. I don't think this is jewelry. I think it's like a like a ring binder clip thing, but it's just really fancy. 62, 63. It's like multiple targets here. Okay, got something in the scoop right here. It's kind of wet. I'm going to throw it over here. See if I can Get it out of there. Okay, now it's in the scoop. And there's at least one more, okay. Got ourselves a shield penny right there. And let's find the other one. <laughs> okay, no, there's just, there's tons right here. Uh, I'm gonna dig these and then I will show you in the wrap-up, but another thing that I see right here before I turn the camera off See a little toy That's pretty cool right on the surface there. It's like some kind of superhero guy Choppy signal here sounds like it's gonna be iron Sounds a little cleaner now All right, it's a 46, probably a penny. What is that? Looks like it might be a, oh yeah. Oh wow. That is a bullet. And it looks like I scratched it. Looks like it might say Magnum on it. Crazy. All right. Uh, yeah. What's crazy about that is I'm just right here by the lifeguard tower, or one of them. And then there's like a, like a hotel right there, so. I don't know what people are doing with big old bullets. Magnum, whatchamacallit's on the beach, but. 
Yep. So right now I'm just kind of wading around out here. I see some fish out in the water. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for stingray. Right now I see some shovel nose guitar fish, I think is what they're called. Those ones, those ones freak me out sometimes because they're not as smart as the, as the stingray. The stingray normally can sense my motion and they move out of the way, but those shovel nose guitar fish are not quite as intelligent and they will just brush right up against my leg and then they will freak out and then when they freak out and zip off real quick, then it freaks me out, so. Okay, we got a target right here. Sounding like it's gonna be a penny. It's in the 40s and 50s. All right, I think it's out. 49.50. Somewhere right in here. Oh no. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's a good sign. That is a lead sinker. And I don't know. It looks like it might have been in here for a while. Usually there's like some, some brass mechanism that sticks out here and that's not there. Okay, right there's where we pulled that sinker. Ringing up pretty much the same, 52. It's out. Alrighty, cool. Yeah, all right, here's what I'm talking about. So it's another lead sinker, but see there's that brass mechanism right there that I would expect to see on the other one, but I'm not that familiar with uh, fishing weights, so those other ones might not have that, but there it is. It's like a wrecking ball, like the song. All right, well, I just dug a huge hole. It was a very faint sounding two, and then I got further down, it sounded like iron, then I got a little further down, it started to sound like a 98. And now I've got it out, and it's ringing up a 65, so. I'm hoping it's something good. Okay, it's in the scoop. Let's see what it is. Feels heavy, maybe a fishing weight or something. Yep, that's exactly what it is. There it is. This looks like a, a two ounce fishing weight. It's still fairly new, but there it is. Okay, let's do another quick voiceover. So I just pulled that two ounce fishing sinker and I had pulled a couple other fishing sinkers earlier, uh, but I was just working that area and I started to find a pocket of targets. Uh, right here, I think I'm pulling a penny and then I find another coin and then I find a earring and then you'll see how our beach karma from earlier pays off. And that's actually another thing that Jim taught me uh, watching his videos is it pays to pick up the trash because you rack up your, your beach karma and the beach will pay you back eventually. So anyway, stick around. Uh, here, this looks like it's going to be a, a zinc. I think I dug that penny just right over there. That's ringing up like it's going to be a quarter. And it's in the scoop. Jeez, maybe I should stick around out here. Yeah. A lot of little sand critters, but we got ourselves a quarter right there. Well, I had a target out here. It sounded like a, I mean, it rang up a 62. It sounded fairly good, and now it sounds like iron. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, it is iron. It's stuck to the magnet, but that's a, a hoop earring right there. So, that's not bad, I'll take that. There it is, hoop earring. Okay, I am getting absolutely pummeled out here. The waves are coming in really strong and I lost one of my sandals, but we got a 26. Let's see if I can turn around.
kind of bummed about that sandal. Okay, it's still in there. I have been spotting uh, more, more critters swimming around my feet. Feel something. Okay, I think I got it in the scoop. Gee whiz, holy cow. Oh lord. Hold on a sec. Oh jeez, I almost lost my detector. Okay, we're gonna move in. We're gonna move in. I see what it is. Carefully, okay. Look at this, look at this, we got a, oh my gosh, I'm shaking. We got a ring. Oh, and it's got diamonds too. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. That's gold. That's gonna be a gold ring. I see a 14K. Those are probably real diamonds. What's crazy is it looks kind of like that last, that's the, the last gold ring that I found was in uh, Laguna. Everything else has been junkers or silver. Uh, and this is actually very, very similar to the one in Laguna, except for this one is way heavier. All right, this was ringing up real soft right in that hole right over there. And I wasn't even gonna bother filming it because I thought it was just a little piece of foil. And I had a hard time finding it in the sand, but we got an earring right there. Wow, that is cool. Looks like a little owl or something. That's really cool. We'll check that out in the wrap up though. This is, this is one of the best nights I've had in a long time in terms of finding jewelry. This has been really great. Pop it in here. All right, right out of there, it was a very subtle 13. Thought it was just gonna be some junk, but that looks like a really old little thing. Maybe it used to go on a necklace or a bracelet or something. Maybe it had some more uh, chains coming down like that. Interesting. It's got a little bead on there. Okay, well, just some more jewelry. This Today is jewelry day, and uh, we'll check this out in the wrap-up. All right, it's time for the wrap-up. Normally, I shoot the wrap-up on my iPhone just for better detail, and I like to be able to zoom in, but the phone ran out of internal storage so we're just gonna have to get by with the GoPro anyways we got lots and lots of targets I'll just uh, kinda zip through them lots of iron here big chunky stuff look at that it's got shells on it lots and lots of uh, bottle caps not as many pull tabs as I thought we would get uh, tent stakes galore we've got enough tent stakes here to start our own tent stake store uh, I thought that this was a prophylactic but it's just some Hand wipes, I think. So a couple of toys. I thought this guy was pretty cool. He's like a mad scientist. Cleaned him up. And then uh, this one right here. I actually, I think that that is a submarine. I thought it was a rocket, but it's got like a, I don't know. I thought that was like a periscope. I'm not sure what that's from. Probably some movie. Uh, we found all of this lead right here. Uh, it was just crazy. Uh, got, I think one of them was kind of sticking up out of the surface. Oops, set that back up. One of them was kind of sticking up and I pulled that one and then I got another one. And then at one point I got four in the scoop at one time. So we ended up getting 11 of these. I thought that there were less, but there's actually 11 total. And I don't think that they have anything to do with fishing because there's no holes or anything. I'm not sure what those are for. So if you guys know... 
put it down in the comments what all that lead would be for, but that's pretty heavy. We got 5, 10, 12 pennies. Uh, let's see, 50, 60, 70 cents in dimes, and a dollar 25 in quarters there. Got a couple of fishing weights. This is a two ouncer. Got that wrecking ball one there. I came in like a wrecking ball. Yeah. This was a really odd find. I was over there by the lifeguard tower and it had a kind of iron sound to it until I moved it and then it, it rang up nice and clear. But it's a, it's a live ammunition. And on the back there, I'll try and do some close-ups um, through this wrap up, I'll do a close up photos, but on the back there, it says 357 Magnum. So that's a live 357 Magnum round right there on the beach. Uh, this thing is like, I don't know what it is for, maybe for um, like clipping papers together or something. It's just decorative, but it's like a ring binder kind of thing. Found a couple of uh, pieces of jewelry here. This one is a hoop earring. It's got iron in it. Uh, let's see, this one here is a ring. It's a heart ring. And that's got a little bit of iron in it too. I think that the heart itself is is made of iron and the rest is copper. But it's stuck to the magnet. This is like a little owl earring and I thought that that was pretty cool. It's got It's got color to it. Super small though. It kept falling through the scoop. Not sure exactly what kind of jewelry this is, but maybe it went to an earring at one point. That actually might be silver. I'm pretty sure that's going to be silver. I wasn't sure what this was. I, at first I thought it was just one of these clumps of iron, and it definitely has iron in it. But for some reason it's got this, this like green gem sticking up on there. So there's got to be some kind of jewelry inside of there. I'll probably crack it open after we finish recording. I thought that that was weird. So we got like a mystery piece of jewelry here. All right, on to the really good stuff. Let's, yeah, let's start with this one. So I, I didn't realize it when I was on the beach, but this is actually a piece of Tiffany jewelry. And it's a little silver heart that says Tiffany Co. New York City. And I can't really quite make out what the rest of it says, but it says love on there. So that's pretty awesome. That was That was really exciting to find that. I think that's the first piece of... Tiffany jewelry I've ever found. Uh, and then let's move on to this one here. I'm still not sure. I think that this is stainless, but it feels kind of heavy. And I showed it to my buddy Ron, and he said it felt heavy enough to be silver, but it just, it rang up kind of low, and I didn't see any 925 markings on there. It does have one little mark on there. I'm trying to find it. It's just a little M on there. So I don't know. I think it's just a branding but I think that if it was silver, it would have a clear marking on there, 925 or, or something. But it's really nice, and it's not even broken. So I was really excited about that, too. All right, now on to our finale. This was the find of the night. And what's funny is this ring looks so similar to that other ring that I found in Laguna. Let me see if I can grab the other ring and show you. Okay, so here's the other ring that we found in Laguna. There's like a, a hollowness to it, and that's probably why it's lighter weight, but it's got the diamonds on there, and it's 10 carat. But this one here has all those diamonds, and you can see the little holes in the backs of the diamonds there. And this one is also, this one's kind of a yellower gold, and then this one is like a white gold, 14 carat. It's got the 14 carat marking in there. It was just a, it was a, I was stoked before I found this ring. I was excited to find this uh, little pendant and, and this chain was great. Uh, and it was just an interesting night. It was, uh, found a lot of interesting things. And that's what I love about metal detecting. And to find this ring was just the, the cherry on the Sunday. So super grateful. Well, that's about it in terms of our wrap up. I hope that you enjoyed the hunt as much as I did. If you did consider subscribing and hit the like button, and be sure to leave some comments. Love hearing from you guys. So until next time, happy hunting.